Welcome back. This is a hands-on video about how to do S3 replication. First, we are going to create a new bucket and name the bucket to make sure that the bucket name is globally unique. I'm creating this bucket in Northern Virginia, which is the nearest AWS region to my location. So Northern Virginia will be my origin or the source bucket. And I'll be replicating this S3 bucket in Mumbai AWS region. In other words, Objects from the source bucket in the Northern Virginia AWS region will be replicated in the target S3 bucket in the Mumbai AWS region. Now let's scroll down. Defaults are fine. So one thing I need to do, of course, is to enable versioning. Because replication only works if versioning is enabled. Rest all default settings are fine. Click on the Create Bucket button to create this bucket. Since this is a brand new S3 bucket, there is no object in this bucket. So I upload a file to this bucket. Now let's create a new S3 bucket. This time I'll select Mumbai AWS region. This bucket is very similar to the previous bucket we created so we need to enable versioning for the replication to work. Bucket versioning must be enabled. And click on the Create button. As you can see we have two buckets here. One is in Northern Virginia AWS region and the other is in Mumbai AWS region. Now set up the replication. Select the origin bucket, which is the one in the Northern Virginia AWS region. Click on the Management tab. On this page, we will click on the Create Replication Rule button. Let's provide a name for this replication rule. For the source bucket, the source bucket's name is fine, and the source region is fine. Select the destination bucket. I have two options here. Either I can choose a target bucket in another AWS account, or in my account. I'll select the destination bucket, which I created in the Mumbai AWS region in my account. I'll click on the Browse S3 button, and here, I'll select the bucket. For the IAM role, I'll let AWS create a new IAM role for this replication. Rest all default values are fine as this is just for the demo to understand how S3 replication works. Click on Save. Here you can enable a one-time batch operations job to replace any existing objects in the target bucket. But for our case, we will replicate new objects that will be uploaded to the origin bucket. So the default option, the no, do not replace existing object option is fine. Click on the submit button. As you can see that the replication rule is created. Now let's upload a new object in the source bucket to check if our replication works. So let's select the origin bucket, which is the Northern Virginia region, and upload a new object in this origin bucket. Click on Upload Bucket. Now go to our target bucket, which is in Mumbai region, to see if the uploaded object gets replicated. As of now, there is no object in this bucket. Let's click on Refresh. Here we go. We can see the object BeautifulScene.jpg that we uploaded in our origin bucket, which is in the Northern Virginia AWS region. We can also make sure that the correct version is uploaded. Let's come to the origin bucket and check the version ID of the BeautifulScene.jpg. Now let's upload a new version of Riverside Scene.jpg into the origin bucket so if it gets replicated. It should, as this is the new upload after setting the replication. The file is uploaded. Click on the Show Version so that we can find the version of the uploaded file as we have two versions of Riverside Scene.jpg. And note down the version ID at the latest Riverside Scene.jpg. The last three letters are UGS. Now come to the target bucket. Click on the Refresh button. It is not replicated yet. Let's click on the Refresh button a couple of times. Now here we can see the latest Riverside Scene.jpg file is replicated in the Mumbai AWS region, and its version ID is the same as in the origin bucket. The last three letters are UGS. 
We can verify it by looking at its virgin ID in the origin bucket. So I think with this demo, you got a good understanding of S3 replication. <laughs>